On today's Jam with Josh and Joe, we have college football bowl games underway. Woo! Starting up. <coughs> starting up. Um, we go with our uh, recap, our predictions from last week. Um, Joe, how are you doing? Hey, I'm even. Are you even? You I'm- even? I'm, I'm an even cool. Even cool. All right, cool. I'm glad you're even because I'm five and two, baby. Fuck I'm you. I'm five and two. We're doing well. We start off with uh, our projections on um, pretty much every single college football game. Yeah, the They're, latter half of the bowl games. It's it, it kind of pumped me up, man. I loved I love talking about college fo- that many college football games. I know. I'm like, excited. I, I haven't talked about that many college football games. At one time, in a long, long fucking time. Mm-hmm. There's nothing like getting yourself psyched up just to lay on the couch during the holiday season and watch football. Every day. Yes. You can watch a college football game every fucking day. Yeah. Oh, it's awesome. And then you get down to the January 1st Bulls. Mm. Mm. I've saved up my PTO for this. Honestly, that's... Yeah. Yeah. You're a fucking passionate fan. I love it. Yeah. Then we get to a little bit of uh, NFL talk. Um, you know, we, we're we Saints fans, so, you know, we do a little bit of uh, shit talking here. Because uh, the NFC South is not as bad as you think. We're just perplexed now. We don't know what we are. Yeah, we, uh, we have to figure it out. We have to figure out what we're rooting for. So, um, we're rooting for a... Good draft pick, but now things may have changed. We're record fluid. Record fluid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're trying to figure it out. We go through a couple of the NFL games. Um, You know, we, we're getting to the end of the season where, like, eh, things are starting to play out. You're, the playoff pictures are starting to kind of show themselves. And uh, Brandon Staley got fired. Did he get fired or did his team fire him? His team. Oh, okay, you're right. His team fired him. His team fired him. We had one of the more lopsided games, um, of the year, with the brand with with the Broncos game, which was nice. Yeah. Yep. We, that every, makes the Broncos feel better. Yeah, it does. It does. <laughs> and then we get into some NBA game, uh, or NBA talk, and uh, goddamn the Pelicans. God damn the Pelicans. They, they they just wanted to let John Morant, you know, win his first game back. They just wanted to let him. They just, you know what? They have uh, gun appreciation. That's what they have. They're too nice. They they New Orleans loves guns. Yes. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's rock and roll. Welcome to JMO with Josh and Joe. It is Tuesday, December 19th. Almost Christmas, baby. Almost mm-hmm. Christmas. And Joe, bowl season is officially here, baby. Yep. It's it's stirring up right now. It's upon us. It is, it is. And we actually it was a couple of it was a couple of good games. It was a couple of okay games, but there was one really, really good game. Really, yep. really good game. Um, how did you do in your uh, predictions there, bud? I am five hundred. I'm four and four. You're four and four. Okay, good, good. I uh, cause I, I'm I'm five and two. I'm five and two. I think I think in this case, like when you're predicting these bowls, especially with college football in general, I think less is more. You know what I'm saying? Like the less you think about it, the better chance you have of winning. That kind of relates with all college sports, especially like March Madness. Yep, 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 yep. So, like, anything that has to do with college, just don't think about it very hard. <laughs> yeah, just like, whatever t- team calls out to you, that's who you pick. Yes, yes. <laughs> and, like, whatever, like, s- superstition you have towards, like, winning bets, use that for college football. Yeah. I promise you. Don't use that for pro, any pro sports, anything, actually. Just use it for college sports. That's it. 
and like the basis of your pick doesn't have to be very much. It, it could have no. been just somebody's like you have a cool name that you saw in somebody's roster, or you saw one clip on Sports Center like four months ago of this team, and you're like, oh, dude, that was a that was a cool ass like clip. Or you like a mascot better than another mascot, or yeah. you flipped a coin, which is what I did for. <laughs> 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 One of mine. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's college. It's college sports. That's the beauty of college sports. That's why Joe and I love college sports more than anything. That's why we love college football more than anything. Like you have no idea what the fuck you're gonna get. They say any given Sunday. Joe and I say any given fucking college football game. Any given Saturday. That's any it. given Saturday. Any given Saturday. I think that's more appropriate. Or Friday. Or Friday. Or Thursday. Or Wednesday. Or, or now Tuesday. Tuesday, yeah. Maxion. Yeah. Maxion, baby. Any given day of the week. Any given day that ends in Y. Doesn't fucking matter. Um, we do want to recap. Um, Joe and I have a little challenge going right now uh, to see who can get the most bowl games right. Yeah. So yep. we are uh, we're gonna keep we're gonna recap our uh, our picks on last week's predictions. Um. Uh, Joe, what did you think about Georgia and Southern versus Ohio? Uh, 41 to 21, Ohio over uh, Georgia Southern. Uh, I got a loss out of this one. I um, I went the Clay Helton route. You know you know how I was trying to favor uh, Clay Helton and uh, Davis Brin, who I knew was a, a gunslinger, who he did throw for 350 yards, but had three interceptions and a fumble. You're, you're not going to win football three games like that. Yep, nope, nope, nope. Um, yeah, no, I just... Uh, Georgia Southern was on a four game losing streak. I just, you know, they 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 keep I don't know, losers keep losing. That's it. <laughs> Not too much there, bud. Yeah. Um let's see. Jacksonville State versus Rage and Cajuns. Uh this was a good game. Good game. Very good game. Yep, yep. Uh went into OT 3431. I went with my heart on this one. I guess I should have went with the numbers, but uh one with the Raging Cajuns, yeah. This was this is one of the one of the two I've lost. This is one of the two. In your defense, you thought Jacksonville State was Jackson State. Yes, yes, that is true. So, I, yeah, I did think. To, I thought that so that De- threw you off. Quite I a thought bit. that Deion Sanders came from Jacksonville State, but he actually came from Jackson State. Jackson yes. State, yes. Yeah. All right, so that, that that was my bad. Yeah. My bad. There. This was a wild game. There was there was two pick sixes and a scoop and score by Louisiana. This game, really? Yes. Two pick sixes and a scoop and score by Louisiana. 21 points off the defense. And they lost. Yes. Good Lord. Okay, well, then they deserve to lose that one. Yeah, and they, and they missed a field goal in OT. Can't win Can't win many football games like that. Hey, but here's the thing. They covered, you know, good team. Good teams win, great teams cover. There you go. So, um, let's see. Miami, Ohio versus Appalachian State. Of course, I'm going to go Appalachian State. You know what, Appalachian State's. This is what we, you know, we alluded to earlier in the podcast. Appalachian State, we know, is the giant killer. Yeah, they are. They they're known for being the giant killer. They're obviously going to be like a big time name now, um, especially honestly, since they moved they, up. They probably just only read the first part of the the name. They just saw Miami, and they were like, "Oh, we're playing Miami." So we got to win, right? Yeah. They yep. didn't see the Ohio part. They didn't see the Ohio part. I like that strategy. That that was probably strategically done by the head coach. Yes, yes. They they can. <laughs> It's like every time we talk about Jaden Daniels game against Georgia State. We just, <laughs> you know, we just state state. Just just, you know, we just X out the state. Yeah. He was probably Jaden Daniels scored that many the like eight touchdowns against Georgia State. Yeah, <laughs> nice. I like. I said I like what you did there. Uh, but yeah, this was a uh, very very wet game. Fun fact: Miami Ohio threw ten passes total. Mm. Ten passes total. Total. What? That, so a wet and that was game. between two quarterbacks. Oh, interestingly enough. Wow, that's. Mm. No wonder why it's a thirteen to nine game. Thirteen to nine game. Mm. Did who'd you pick? I actually picked Miami, Ohio on this one, so I did lose this one. Yeah, yeah, you you thought about Ben Roethlisberger. Uh, yeah, I also I had some other tidbits on this. Um, I, I don't know, and I should, but I should have gone with the numbers. Appalachian State now has won seven out of the last eight bowl games. 
Um, or no, no, no. I think they're undefeated. I think, I think they might be undefeated. Yeah, I think they've won all seven games. They've been to seven out of uh, eight. The last eight uh, bowl games. Yeah. Okay. okay. But I think they're still undefeated. I like it. Well, it worked out for me. Um, New Mexico. New, blech, blech, sorry, New Mexico State versus Fresno State. Um, this is one I lost because I thought New Mexico State, since they beat Auburn, who almost beat Alabama. I thought they were going to win. Turns out Fresno State's pretty fucking good. Yep, yep. Um, I mean, Fresno State's been a, it's a it's a common household name. But they held New Mexico State to 58 passing yards. Especially when that's your bread and butter. Like, that's what you use to beat Auburn. Mm-hmm. That was not good. It was yep. never, never closer than 10 points. Yep, yep. And Fresno State, they snapped their three-game losing streak. Good for them. Good for them. Oh, uh, let's see. UCLA versus Boise State. Oh, I mean, come on. Chip Kelly going. Chip Kelly going. Chip. You going to eat them chips. I lost this one, too. Yeah. Lost this one, too. I, I I just thought there was too much, too many opt-outs with UCLA. Their their defensive tackle was opting out. Dante Moore was heading out of there. But you know what? I should have trusted uh, Chip Kelly. Chip Kelly. And, and, like, I, I feel like. The talent at big programs like UCLA will trump, like, even the second strings will trump the talent at Boise State. Yeah. It's getting to that point where I think those Power Five conferences, like the top programs, are like separating themselves. Like, I, you know, we used to love, or we, we still do, we love the Appalachian State upsets, we love all those things. But I think they're going to be few and far in between from here on out. I don't think you're going to see very many of those anymore. Yeah, I, I think the especially the top dogs. I mean, the big big time programs, big the, money guys. They're the rich are going to get richer in this yep. case. Yep. Yep. Um, but but yeah, this game featured two 100 yard rusher ga- rushers from UCLA. So you know when their quarterback actually transfers, decided to go on the run game. Uh, the one thing I was disappointed about this game. I thought Gronk was going to sing the national anthem by himself, but he had four other singers with him. Yeah, why didn't he sing it by himself? He's got to sing it by himself. Yeah, he got to go by himself, dude. You're Gronk, man. He was very passionate. I would have loved to see that isolated, but... Yeah, me too. It is what it is. Whatever, dude. All right, um, let's get to California versus Texas Tech. I Justin Wilcox, is, he's, he's done an okay job at California. I, I didn't... See Joe McGuire losing this one. I, 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 Texas Tech. I thought had it all the way. Texas Tech did have it all. The I way. know, I know. That's what I'm saying. Like I, I was, I was correct on this one. I, I didn't like how California played the season, even though they did beat UCLA. But like I said, but I thought Texas Tech just had it, had it the whole time. Like I, I never had any doubt. Yeah. I well, at the beginning it did. It was fourteen seven, but. They didn't actually score for the last three quarters. California right. shut out the last three quarters. Um, so it, it almost looks like it was going to be kind of a blowout. They almost did score. Um, they almost scored another time in the first quarter, but the quarterback got injured and they decided to go for it on fourth, and they did a wildcat, and it didn't work. Mm-hmm. But, um, but yeah, it, that's when Texas was able to get some momentum, turn it around. I ended up getting the win on this one. I, I did pick Texas, uh, Texas Tech as well. Good deal. Good for you. All right, so I'm at 5-2. and two. You're at what? Uh, three and four at this okay. point. Uh, Western Kentucky versus Old Dominion. This was the fucking game of the week. Yep. Game yep. of the week. I picked <laughs> I picked Western Kentucky. This was one of the one of the games I actually watched this weekend. I uh I, I just I took notes on the other ones. This is wild. Yeah, Western Kentucky was down by twenty eight. Yeah, I did not realize that <clears throat> Aiden Reed, which apparently I think was a last minute decision, end up declaring for the draft and did not play this game. So the starting quarterback for Western Kentucky, and and they that that was a yeah last minute. Yes, and then so basically what we talked about Tyson uh, Tyson Helton, who's the coach at Western Kentucky, right? He actually put his nephew in, who was a second-string quarterback, Turner Helton, 
and he ended up fumbling the ball and throwing a pick on his first two drives. So he got benched, and then the third string quarterback was what propelled him into the victory. Really? <laughs> and the funny thing is, they told him that he needs the third string quarterback needs to go into the transfer portal, or if he wants to stay as a quarterback before this bowl game, that he should go into the transfer portal because they plan on turning him into a tight end. I don't know, but they I, he. If you look at the stats, if you look at the stats from that game of his his stats, I think that's enough to change his mind. Forty of fifty two. Yeah. Five touchdowns, one interception. <laughs> I don't know if that's three, a tight end. Three hundred and eighty three yards. Oh wait. That's yeah, that's not a tight end. No, I don't think that's a tight end. No. You. And he had nineteen rush yards and with or nineteen rushes for fifty three yards. Yeah. Apparently he's a big guy and he can run. And, and he can sling the ball. They they they, they passed the ball fifty two times, and he completed forty. Yeah, forty, Joseph, forty of those fucking passes. That's seven point four yards per attempt. Yeah, that's insane. Yeah, no, that boy is not a tight end. <laughs> that boy is a quarterback. That boy's a quarterback. Put him at quarterback. Dude, you should be a coach or a scout. Scout at least. I uh, definitely a scout. Scout. Yeah. I'll work I, work up with the ranks. To we'll, the coach. We'll, we'll work on it. All right, so we had one more um, one more game. It was uh, University of uh, Texas San Antonio versus Marshall. I picked UTSA. Uh, Marshall's up fourteen nothing. Are they really? Yeah, it's uh, in the second quarter. Thirteen twenty five left. They had fourteen opt outs on this game. Yeah, well. Apparently that turned into fourteen points. So um, we'll get we'll we'll keep posted on that one. But so far, Joe and I, I'm five and two, and he is four and four, four and four, four and four. Let's get to our um, predictions on the next. I don't know how many games we have. A bunch of games. Yeah, so this is going to be the big slate. So uh, Joe and I will probably take a week off next week for Christmas. So we will not have a podcast on Tuesday. We might we, we might just, you know, out of the blue come out and do a podcast. But but for now we will not do a podcast. So we're gonna I guess quote unquote preview all of these college games that are from now until January first. Um meaning we're probably gonna go through eighty five percent of them very quickly with just one reason why we picked these teams. Um again, if we if we have a uh if we have another episode next week, we will uh we'll go into a little more detail so you can, you know, we'll we'll, we'll bang these out a little bit shorter. But bang them hard. Bang them hard. Um I'm going to let, let, let's let's actually just go right off the bat with the LSU versus Wisconsin. Do you want to do that? Can we do that? Yeah, might throw my notes off a little bit, but I I can uh, adjust. I can adjust. Adjust. Okay. Um, and LSU, make a tradition. Him make a tradition out of it. Okay. Good. <laughs> um, <laughs> LSU versus Wisconsin. I, Jaden Daniels. From everything that I've heard, he's gonna play. No, he's not playing. He's not playing. No, Jaden Daniels is not playing. Where I don't I don't think he's actually came out and said that. I um I I've I've heard a couple of podcasts with him on and he hasn't confirmed nor denied whether he's gonna play or not. Jaden Daniels opts out of the bowl game. He opts out of the bowl <clears throat> game? Okay. Yeah, he's got he's entering the draft. Okay. Alright, well so there's no Jaden Daniels. Actually I kinda like even though, you know, it's Garrett Nussmeyer, I, I like it. I, I think this is a good a um this is a good game for Garrett Nussmeyer because I think he's going to fucking play hard. I think he's going to show everybody that he deserves to be the starter for the LSU Tigers next year. And that this is his platform to to you basically show that. Yeah, I mean, the thing is is that you want to leave no doubt. And <clears throat> because if you remember correctly, we had a couple of years ago where Miles Brennan was basically, he was next up. He was going to be the starter. He was going to lead LSU two years ago. 
uh, all signs pointed to him. There was maybe a little bit of a uh, quarterback battle during the spring, but it basically looked like it was going to be him. I, we didn't get like a clear winner, but if you remember correctly, that after that spring, they brought in Jaden Daniels. From Arizona State. Yes. So if Garrett, if you're Garrett My- Nussmeyer, which you were at the program at that time, if you're Garrett Nussmeyer and you see that, you see you saw exactly what happened then, you're not going to play this game you know, half ass. Right. You 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 know what's gonna the pre uh, you know repercussions if you play this bad. They might go into the portal and get another quarterback. Exactly. And the the transfer portal has become even bigger than it has ever been. So this is going to propel these these fucking backup quarterbacks or these these next ones up to play even harder. Yeah. You have to. You you absolutely have to. There's there's no there, there's no other option. Yeah. So like leave no doubt. I think he, I think it's going to be a coming out game for him. I honestly I'm not really concerned too much. I, I think um I think LSU runs with this. They're a ten point favorite. I'm picking LSU. Yeah, I'm picking LSU too. Okay. All right. Well, I, I don't think we had there was very much doubt for this. I just wanted to uh kind of get a a game preview. All right, let's bang the the next uh, few out. South Florida versus Syracuse. I'm gonna go with South Florida, just because they're South they're so, they're a Southern team. That's that that that's my that's literally my one my one reason. Yeah, this one was a little tough for me. I, I Syracuse did fire their coach Dino Babers. Um, I did like the name Dino Babers. Oh, great name, great name, fantastic name, especially for a coach. Yeah. Yeah. Coach Dino. Dino. Yeah. Um yeah, I, I really liked him as a coach too. I hope I hope the best for him. Um wherever he lands uh lands. I think Syracuse is a tough place to coach. Mm-hmm. Um but that new coach has actually got some things rolling and we can kind of talk about that a little bit with the the off season uh, talk a little later on. But Syracuse I picked Syracuse because I, I just I think they got a little bit better of a defense and they had a stronger strength of schedule. Um, I didn't like the strength of schedule from South Florida, so especially since they have set, uh, both six and six records. Syracuse is three point favorite right now. I'm going Syracuse. University of South Florida. All right, um, let's go Georgia Tech versus UCF. Um, I'm picking Georgia Tech just because they played Georgia close. <laughs> that, is that, that is, the reason? Yeah, that is my reason. Well, I mean, they're both six and six. It's, it's I know, the, I know, UCS favored, but yeah, it's their first bowl since uh, twenty eighteen. Georgia Tech. Oh yeah, nice. And and it's also the uh, the bowl game of the former SEC quarterbacks, John Reese Plumley and um, Haynes King. Who did Haynes King play for? Texas A and M. Ooh, ooh. So, uh, who you got? I'm going. I'm going. Gus Bus. Give me the UCF. Gus Bus. Okay. <laughs> Gus Malzahn. Come on. I do like Gus Malzahn. Um. All right. Let's go. Troy to Troy versus Duke. I am. I, I don't care that they lost their coach Mike Alco. They have the best. They have the best players. Duke has the best players. They're gonna be. They're gonna be Troy. This is what? not so fast, oh, my come friend. On. All right, fucking Corso. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Dude, Duke has by far the better players. Like, even, uh, I don't care if Lenore doesn't play. Yeah, but a lot of them are transferring right I now. I don't there's, care if there's Lenore 11, doesn't play. There's I don't 11, care. I don't care. There's 11 players in the portal, portal yeah, right now. Don't care. Give me Troy. It's, it's fucking Troy. All right, you know what? This is starting off like last week. It kind of is. It's starting off exactly like last week. All right, Arkansas State versus Northern Illinois. I went Arkansas State just because they have a better resume. No Arkansas State? No, I I think I had Northern Illinois on this one. Northern Illinois? Why? Because you went back in time to 2003 when they had, what, who, who was it, Garrett Wolf? No, yeah. no, I'm picking it because they're running back. Ontario Brown, and I know. Hold on, before you you know freak out. I didn't say Antonio Brown. I said Ontario Brown. Okay, they're running back. Um, 
I mean, I heard you, but I'm glad you specified for for the listeners. <laughs> for the listeners, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but no, he had a thousand one hundred and sixty four yards and ten touchdowns, really? six point two average. Wow, good little back. I I, I kind of like how you can, can kind of control the game with him in the tempo. I'm going with Northern Illinois, mm. dude. I love how much we are just con. The way, like we have complete opposite takes. Yeah, we're definitely contrasting each other. Okay. Um, and we're probably going to contrast on this one too. Georgia State versus Utah State. I'm I'm picking Utah State because Georgia State's on a five game losing streak. It's basically what I'm basing this off of. No, I went. I did go Utah State. You I did was, go Utah State. Yeah, okay. I think it's more. Of, it's pretty much a home game for Utah State. Um, yeah. In a sense, I, I did go, and they're two and a half point favorite. I'm going um, Utah State. Okay. James Madison versus Air Force. Um, Air Force is on a get four game losing streak. I'm taking James JMU, and JMU they weren't even supposed to be bowl eligible. Like they they uh, they were. What was their situation? They so they could have opted out. No. So basically, what there was happened? Not supposed to be a bowl eligible, but they had to win a certain amount of games. No. So anytime you make the move from the FCS to the FBS division, you have to set out a year in the from the Bulls. But since there wasn't enough qualified teams gotcha. to make a bowl, they were actually able to opt, uh, get opted in. I think they're going to be super pumped. I, I think Let's they want to show. JMU. Yeah, go me, go JMU right yep. there. All right, good. Okay. I'm glad we got the same on that one. We got the same for the last two right now. We're uh, yeah, we're, we're two uh, game. Two games similar streak. Okay, and we're probably going to get the same one on this one. South Alabama versus East Michigan. Oh, absolutely. South <laughs> Let's in go. your mouth. Let's go, Jags! Go Let's Jags. go, Jags! South in your mouth. South in your mouth, bitches. Yeah. Um, enough said. Utah versus Northwestern. I think we're going to have the same one here. Kyle you- Whittingham. Oh, yeah. North Utah. Utah. U- Utah all day. Bryson Barnes. Bryson Barnes, the quarterback. He actually put his name into the transfer portal because Cameron Ryzen is coming back for his seventh year. I kid, kid you not, seventh year. The dude, he's he's Bo Nix. Yeah, he's Bo Nix again. But he, um, <clears throat> so yeah, so Bry- but Bryson Barnes was granted eligibility by his coach Kyle Winningham to play in the. <clears throat> In this game. In the Las Vegas Bowl. In the Las Vegas nice. Bowl. Nice. Because most of the people that put their name in the transfer portal aren't allowed to play in the bowl. I mean, it's oh. it's, it's basically right. up yeah, to yeah, their, yeah, their yeah. teams, you yeah. know. Okay. So, but, yeah, um, yeah Utah, he let them play. Utah. All right, good. We're on a streak here, bro. We're, we're on a roll. Yeah. All right. Um, Coastal Carolina versus San Jose State. I'm, um, I'm going to go with the spread. I'm going to go with San Jose State. Yeah, I went San Jose State. Uh, Coastal Coastal Carolina has twenty four opt outs for this game. Twenty four? Yeah, it's obnoxious. Jesus Christ! Well, they just they just lost their coach to uh, to Indiana. I, yeah, but I don't I don't give a fuck. That's twenty four. That's was it Indiana? Maybe I'm no 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 JMU no. JMU lost their coach. No to no Indiana Indiana still has Tom Allen. No 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 they no, they fired him. They fired Tom Allen. Yeah no they have the uh, coach for JMU. Oh, um, uh, okay, okay. Um, either way, either way, we're all going San Jose. Bowling Green versus Minnesota, the Quick Lane Bowl. I don't care that Minnesota didn't get six wins. I'm going Minnesota. I have to go Minnesota over Bowling Green. They, they're just a bigger school, honestly. That's what I that's what I base it off of. Bigger school. Yeah, I, I did that I did that as well. Just based off the um I mean Minnesota's got the eighteenth uh best strength of schedule. And bowling green, I if they if they were a little bit better on offense, I would maybe think that, you know, that they would be able to keep up and, you know, pose a little bit more of a threat, but they're seventy third in uh, offensive points per game. I just I don't see it. I don't see them overtaking them. Isn't it weird to see a, a five and seven? Yeah, team? I don't know how Minnesota got in there. I don't. Well, th- it's because they didn't have enough teams. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're that's right. It's essentially what there was too many bowls, not enough teams. Yes, and like honestly, I'm not complaining. I'd rather more football. I would rather more football. I'd rather more football. That's cool. Um, let's see, Texas State versus Rice. Um. 
<laughs> I picked Texas State only because I'm trying to cut back on my rice intake. <laughs> so <Goodness> like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's, it, it makes me feel bloated, so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go with Texas State. That's what it is. Yeah, dude. Good oh, gosh. I'm, I'm trying to cut back on my rice. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Who you got? Well, the good thing is, is that Texas State is a five and a half point favorite, so they, you got that going for your side. Oh, thank y- you. Yeah, I am going with Texas State, but I'm gonna actually do it based off of Rice's 54th in pass defense and 71st in rust defense, and Texas State has a very, very good offense. Um, led, by, led by their quarterback. You know who their quarterback is? Who? Used to play at LSU. Only played a little bit during the season. Also played at Auburn. I don't know. Came out of Ponchatoula High School. Not sure. Almost looks like Jamarcus Russell. Oh my God, just tell me. <laughs> TJ Finley. T.J. Finley? Yeah. So T.J. Finley's at... Plays for uh, Texas State? Yeah. He, uh, oh, he I didn't know that. Threw for 3,287 yards, 24 touchdowns. He's a big and old boy. And eight interceptions. Big Had like Jamarcus a Russell looking boy. Very, very strong arm. Very reminiscent mm-hmm. of Jamarcus Russell. Just mm-hmm. very strong arm. I think he just was too, um, too aggressive. He got himself in trouble with a lot of interceptions. Right. Which I, I actually, this is what I think the transfer portal is good for. It's good for quarterbacks that maybe just need a little bit of development, maybe go like to a program like Texas State. Because, I mean, obviously he tried at LSU, he tried at Auburn, and then found himself at a good coaching situation at Texas State and was able to thrive. I think this is the good parts of the transfer portal. Right, right. And, and there will be more good parts of it for sure. Um. <laughs> the Guaranteed Rate Bowl, Kansas versus UNLV. Uh, going with Kansas. I I, I like Lance Leopold. I'm, I'm literally betting on Lance Leopold. Yeah, <clears throat> I, I did the and same. And it's guaranteed. So whatever you pick, it's guaranteed. <laughs> I, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I went Kansas Kansas as well. Devin Neal, he's rushed for 12,009 yards and um, 16 touchdowns. I, I love him as a back, If especially in, in a bowl game like this where you want to control the game. Yeah. Give me uh, just, Kansas. Just, just, I'm going to give you the what, – what do you think the over-under for this game is? Ooh, this was, um, this was both a pretty high up potent offense by both of these, right? Or was it a? Um, it, was, it was pretty. It's high. definitely. It's, it's definitely it's, high. It's high. I, since it's high, I'm gonna I'm gonna exaggerate a little bit. Give me seventy. Oh, 64 and a half. 64 and a half, Okay. Yeah. I, like I, I mean, said, I did. Close, exa- yeah. I exaggerated. Yeah. No, it was close. Um. Let's see. Virginia Tech versus Tulane. Listen, I I know a lot of people are gonna be p- pissed at me for this. Tulane did not impress me this season. Like I I I guarantee I I, I get it. I'm. Comparing them to last season, but they didn't impress me. I think Virginia Tech's going to win. I'm picking Virginia Tech. I know I'm going to have a lot of people mad at me. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry, but. Well, you know what? One person that's going to be a disagree is the whole University of Houston because they picked up Willie Fritz. They did pick up Willie Fritz. And I, I don't know what's disappointing about 11 and 2 season. I'm going to Lane. You're going to Lane? Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, UNC versus West Virginia. <clears throat> I know I don't think May's going to be playing, right? Nope. Yeah. I'm I'm still picking UNC. I think North Carolina still has the dogs. No Derek May, no problem. Yeah, I don't understand why this is I I think the the reason why this is a six and a half point favorite for West Virginia is the fact that Drake May is not starting and he had been starting for the entire year. But I, I this is um, it's kind of like a LSU situation where it's a tryout for next season. I'm like I know they have a quarterback in the reins that is very capable that they're they wanting s- to groom. They still have Mac Brown as their fucking coach. Yeah, they still have Mac Brown. Um, I, yeah, I 
they're and their running back. I forgot. Who, I didn't write down their running back, but their running back ran for over a thousand yards as well. So they can lean on him and run the play action. I I don't know. I just think this is a little bit a little bit biased on the fact that he is going to he is going or uh, Drake May is actually entered to the draft. Uh, yeah, give me. Give me North Carolina. Give me and yeah, and a spread or just give me money. Oh, um, <laughs> Omarion Hampton. Omarion Hampton. Yeah, that's the that's the UNC running back. Holy shit! Yeah, he had 178 yards against fucking Clemson. Yeah. Um, no. And then, um, yeah, this also is a home game for North Carolina. This is in North Carolina. The Duke's Mayo Bowl. Yeah. Gross. Um, all right, let's get to U- Louisville versus USC. Um, I'm going to I'm going with Louisville because I I feel like U- USC has quit. They're one in, <laughs> they're one in six in their last seven, dude. Bro, you don't even have you don't have Caleb Williams and you don't have Brandon Rice. And they're one in six in their last seven. Yeah, no, I'm going with Louisville. Yeah, same. All right, cool. Uh, Texas A&M versus Oklahoma State, dude. I I I think. Even though Oklahoma State has gone through its ups and downs, I think Texas A&M is a more dysfunctional program right now than Oklahoma State has been this season. Yeah. Yep. Mike Gundy needs this win to to save his job, too. Yeah. No, I think so. I had A&M is in shambles, 18 opt-outs right now. And I don't know how they're... a two and a half point favorite in this game. How? How on God's green earth are they two and? Well, they're they're minus two right now. Minus two. So now. as of now, they're minus two. Yeah. How are they favored? Blows my mind. No, no idea. It's because South Alabama destroyed. Oklahoma I don't think. State. He, I don't even think Elijah Robinson is coaching this game. No. No. And I, I don't think, and definitely Mike Elko is not coaching this game. Well, yeah, for sure. I mean, he, he's not going to start coaching. Why? Why would he coach this game? Just, just coach right now. Yeah, it, it would do him no good to coach this game. Um, yeah, I got Oklahoma State on this. Yeah. Okay. Same. Fun, um, funny. Funny fact though, uh, Gunner Gundy, which yes, you're right. Yep. That is the son of uh, right Mike Gundy. Mike Gundy, the the quarterback for Oklahoma State. He's in the transfer portal. <laughs> Is he really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Well, his dad did bench him. Yeah. I'm so dead. fair. Um, okay, let's get to SMU versus Boston College. I'm gonna go SMU. They're on a nine games winning streak. Yeah, I don't this is kind of a little bit lopsided. I'm I always take into account that if it's a bigger college and a better conference rather than a smaller conference. You know, there may be a little bit of variable as far as, like, the smaller conference can have a better record. But this is too much of a disparity Yeah, for me. Give me an SMU. Okay. Rutgers versus Miami. Dude, <clears throat> I kind of like the Greg Schiano versus Mario Cristobal um, matchup, mm-hmm. but I'm going to go with Miami. I'm no, go- give me Greg Schiano. Greg Schiano? Yeah. Oh, nice. Love it. Well, Tyler Van Dyke is not starting for uh, Miami. I know, I know. I, I, I'm going. I'm going with. The, that's why I'm, I'm going with Mario Cristobal. This is who. I'm, this is who I'm basing all of this off of. Okay. <clears throat> um. Okay. Let's go. With NC State versus Kansas State. Um. Pop Tarts Bowl. The Pop Tarts Bowl. Yeah. I, dude. Look, NC State beat Clemson, Miami, and UNC, and Virginia Tech. I'm going to go with Clemson, or uh, I'm going to go with NC State. Sorry. Yeah, I, I did the same thing. Kansas State lost Will Howard uh, to the transfer portal. Um, Brendan Armstrong is going to keep it stable in NC State. Give me NC State. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, let's go. Arizona, Oklahoma. Here's the thing. This is going to be a shootout, and I think Arizona has better defense. Dude, Arizona is the hottest team. In, hottest. The hottest team in college football right They now. are so good. So that, good. That Arizona is so hot right now. Arizona is hot, and that's not just talking about the temperature because, damn, it gets hot up in Arizona. Exactly. They are on a uh, six-game win streak right now, and they have beaten Washington State, Oregon State, UCLA, Colorado, Utah, and Arizona State in that span. That last stretch was unbelievable. I'm, I'm going Arizona. I, I'm going Arizona, too. I, I got you. 
Um, let's see. Clemson versus Kentucky. I think Clemson's figured it out. I think they're going to beat Kentucky. I mean, it's Debo Sweeney. I think they figured it out. I don't. I like Mark Stoops, but I think Clemson beats him. Yeah, I, they're they're favored by four. Five and a half now. Five and a half now. Yep. Wow. Jeez yep. and Pete's. Yep. Uh, anyways. No, um <clears throat> yeah, I actually picked Kentucky on this one. I think I think Mark Stoop has a little bit more realized pride in his you know, in his coaching with Kentucky. I think that to Kentucky I think the SEC has a lot better talent than than the ACC as a whole, mm-hmm. and I think that like a mid level Kentucky team in the SEC is going to beat an upper level Clemson team in the ACC. We, and and I, I'm not even talking about a upper upper level. I'm talking about like a mid upper level ACC team. Wait, I thought you picked Clemson. Clemson though. I did pick pick Clemson. Okay, but I'm but saying you seem I'm, like you're I'm, making no, an no, argument. No, I'm trying to justify your pick. Oh yes, yes. yes. That, I appreciate. So that. I, I I can see that. No, I'm I'm picking Clemson it's for bu- sure. It's Go, bizarre, but Clemson's gonna win. Ah, I don't know. Look, Devin Leary, even though he kind of didn't impress me this year, he's still a capable quarterback. But give me Ray Davis, baby. Okay, give me that green eye black guy. All right, let's get through the next couple. Like, uh, Fairly quickly. Oregon State versus Notre Dame. Uh, Notre Dame. Notre Dame. Oregon State lost their coach. I mean. Fair. Lost their coach, lost their quarterback, yeah. and backup quarterback. Yeah, fair enough. So, yeah, it's Notre Dame. Uh, Memphis versus Iowa State. Uh, this was a coin flip for me. This was literally the the, the game I, I flipped a coin for. You know what? I, I don't know why. I don't know why Iowa State's such a nine-and-a-half point favorite, but I, I went with Memphis on this one. Mm-hmm. I, I I don't know. I I really don't understand that. It was it was a weird spread. Yeah. Um. Let's go Missouri, Ohio State. I look. I love Eli Drinkwitz. I love this Missouri team, and I mostly love it because LSU beat them. But I don't think they can hold up to, even though they lost Kyle McCord. And Marvin Harrison and Marvin Harrison Jr. I think this is a game that Ryan Day has to win, and Ohio State has too many good players. I have to go with Ohio State on this. Nope, I think you're wrong. Give me Missouri. Let's go. Good deal. I love. Good for you. Good for you. I, I I just like I said I think it's a must win must win for uh, Ryan Day. I I just think I'm going off of what I feel like the demeanor is for each of the programs. Fair but, enough, fair enough, and it's not good at Ohio State. It's not. It just doesn't. See, it seems like it's kind of on the low point at Ohio State. Whereas Missouri, they've lost, they, they've lost some recruits. Yes. Whereas Missouri, I mean, this is dude. They're riding a high right now. Like yeah, this they is, are. This is like this is their national championship, the Cotton Bowl. I mean, I, I get it. They obviously you, every team wants to go into the playoff, but I mean, he can just ride on the fact that hey, look, we're n- we're number nine right now. We would be in the playoff next year. Let's use this game as momentum for next year. Yeah, you know, you're absolutely right. This is this is Missouri's national championship. Yeah. Um, Ole Miss versus Penn State. Uh, I'm going Penn State because fuck Ole Miss. <laughs> Really? Yeah, fuck Ole Miss. I have I fucking hate Ole Miss. Let's go Penn State. James Franklin, let's go. I'm gonna go with my head on this one. I'm gonna go Ole Miss. God, I hate you so much. Ole Miss has got a lot of momentum going for him right I now. I fucking hate Lane Kiffin. I wanna <laughs> slap him in his stupid fucking face. And I, Jackson Dart? Jackson Dart can dart himself into a goddamn fucking ditch well i'm just hoping that they win this game and then with all the wins that they're getting from the transfer portal and like recruiting right now i hope it over hypes the shit out of them and then they just completely fall from the very tippy top nope 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 i just crash and burn i want them to stay at the bottom okay stay at the bottom um auburn versus maryland i'm gonna pick auburn just because of recency bias they almost beat Bama. So Maryland's starting quarterback, which is Tua Tagovailoa's little brother, Tulia, 
Tulio, yeah. yeah My, he, what was it? Michael Oxley is the coach? Yeah, Michael Oxley, former Alabama offense coordinator. Right. <clears throat> but no, he actually is opted out of this game. So he's not going to be playing. So I'm going with Auburn on this one. Okay. Georgia versus FSU. This one. The games, the game of the could have been. Why is Georgia minus 14? Because that's. <laughs> Because no one believes in Florida State at all. That's which, insane. Hence, hence why the the why they got, yeah yeah okay all right well <laughs> I, I was saying that for a reason yeah trigger some people yeah there, there there's a reason why Florida State was left out of the playoffs mm-hmm. look I agree FSU got hosed but I'm pointing this out because. It's minus 14, and the over-under is at 44.5. Nobody thinks Florida State's going to win. I'll say it. I'll say it. No, Nobody thinks Florida State. I mean, I, I picked Georgia. I picked Georgia. <clears throat> Who do you pick? I've got a take on this game. Okay. Oh. Are you, yeah. you going to blow my mind? Not blow your mind completely, because obviously I have Georgia in this game. But I don't. Th- I think Georgia wins by seven points. Okay. I don't think they cover the spread. FSU, I think Florida, uh, look, look. Florida State's defense is good. The Florida State's defense is very good. It's I mean, very good. Yeah. Yeah. There's literally twenty, twenty-one other members on the team besides the quarterback. Right. And I, they they've got good talent. They've that they've developed. I, I think they're going to play hard. They want to play hard to show who they are. I think they will come up short though. Too many dogs on Georgia. Too many dogs. Too many dogs. All right. Uh, Toledo, Wyoming. I love how they just sprinkle these little games in here. Um, for me, this one was a uh, a mascot game. I'm going to go. So, Toledo Rockets versus Wyoming Cowboys. I'm going to go the Rockets over Cowboys. Mm, mostly, interesting. Mo- mostly because Cowboys remind me of Dallas. Okay. And fuck Dallas. Since I love keeping up with head coaches, I actually picked Wyoming on this one because Craig Boyle is retiring after this season. So this is his final game. So I'm going to pick that they're going to have a little bit of emotion going into this game to try to play for him in his last game. And if I don't, if you don't, rem, uh, if you don't remember, Craig Boyle actually was a three time in a row FCS champion at North Dakota State University before he took on that job at Wyoming. How long ago was that? That was back, uh, he took the Wyoming job in 2013. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, so he coached Josh Allen. Nice. Yes, he did. Nice. Good for him. He did coach Josh Allen at Wyoming. Good for him. He, he, also he, he made a career out of Josh Allen. <laughs> I was about to say, uh, but he also recruited Carson Wentz at North Dakota State. Oh, really? That was that long ago. Hmm. It was a pretty long time ago. I might be wrong a little bit on that one. Maybe not the Carson Wentz one. Yeah, I, I, Carson Wentz was a little more recent, but I, he co- he definitely coached Josh Allen. Um, all right, let's get to the, the most lopsided bowl of all time, even though records don't show. Liberty versus Oregon. Oregon. Well, yeah, no shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, no fucking shit. This is one of the. This is a UCF situation here. Uh, two thousand. You remember two thousand seventeen UCF? They they still claim that title. No, y'all aren't that good, and this is why the fucking twelve team. Yeah, but UCF won the bowl game. I know. I understand that, but they're they but they were not national champions. Oh year. no, they weren't national champions. Right, that's what but... I'm saying. They're not that good. They're not that good. They're, UCF self crowns themselves national champions that year. They're not. They're not. They weren't that good. And this is why I love the twelve team playoff. It's just it it it, it weeds out teams like fucking Liberty. Oh, you went thirteen and zero. Congratulations. You still suck. <laughs> You're gonna get destroyed by Oregon, and I hope you get destroyed by Oregon's backups. Anyways. Oregon, right? Yeah, Bo Nix actually decided to play into this in he's, this game. He's playing this game. Yeah, uh, actually, he's playing that, this that's game. the most Bo Nix thing of all time. <laughs> yeah, that might be the most 
Like, he's the Van Wilder of the football team. Dude, he's going to drag out college as long as he can. Yeah, that's what Stetson Bennett did. Exactly. Yeah, why the fuck not? That's th- This is your peak. You are peaking right now. I wouldn't be surprised if Bo, Bo Nix found a loophole, like some secret loophole, to keep him in college next year. Mm-hmm. He'll, he'll find a new COVID. Yes. Good. Good for him. Um, Iowa versus Tennessee. Um... Here's the thing. I'm going to pick Tennessee because I think they're going to be the first to score more than 10 points. <laughs> That's kind of my thoughts. I mean, <laughs> Iowa does have a very good defense. It's just like, the, can the, they hold off Tennessee long enough? Right. It's just, it's the first to score 10 points. Yep. More than 10 points. Yeah. So what you got? Ten, Tennessee? Yeah, Tennessee. They're an eight and a half point favor right now. All right. Let's, uh, let's go. All right. Alabama versus Michigan. Let's start with that one. We already know Michigan is scared of Alabama. We saw that. They don't want to play Alabama. They didn't want to play Alabama. They we we saw that in the video whenever Alabama got announced. Can Jim Harbaugh turn that around? Can he turn it around? Because. Alabama is playing better football right now than I think any college football team in the nation. I think they have it figured out. I think Nick Saban is on a fucking roll and nobody wants to stand in their way. I mean, it's a solid argument. It's a solid argument. What do you have, Michigan? I just think Michigan has been climbing the ladder at this point. Because the last couple of years, they they have kept escalating up the ranks into being a powerhouse program. And I think this year is going to solidify that. Because last year, if you remember, they were supposed to win, but they didn't win against TCU. Oh, yeah. Like that, I I guarantee you that has a bad taste in John Harbaugh's uh, mouth. Oh yeah, you or know Jim, you, Jim Harbaugh. Jim Harbaugh, mouth. you know Apologies. you know Jim Harbaugh remembers that. He probably plays it on tape. He probably shows it to his team. Yes, he. I mean, he probably shows it to his wife every night. <laughs> that that. <laughs> I mean, maybe it's kind of a little depressing, but at the same time, like yeah, he's probably put That's, a lot a lot of time into focusing. How he's going to revenge that. That's Jim Harbaugh's foreplay. Yes. <laughs> God damn. Weird as it is. Um, so, yes. Uh, but Michigan actually has better points per game, both offensively and defensively, than Alabama. And I know you're going to probably say the argument of like the SEC, but their strength of schedules are very, very similar. I mean, the Big Ten is no, not— No, I, 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 I don't—I'm I, not going to disagree with you on that. The Big Ten is actually pretty good. And and this is the only time you'll ever hear this from me because they're going to be gone next year. But the back, the Pac-12 start the schedule was really good. It was good. It was good, yes. So, you know, Jim Harbaugh won some revenge in the playoff. J.J. McCarthy— having experience in the playoff mixed with their great running back duel of Blake Corum and Donovan Edwards and that solid defense that they've been having all year long, I'm going Michigan. Oh, let's go. Let's go. All right, good. Good. I'm glad we got it. I'm glad we we got some differences on these uh these these New Year's Day bowls. Of course. All right, good. All right, Texas versus Washington then. Let's see if we go different on this one. All right. Um, I mean, do you want me to just say it right off the bat? I mean, you can you can lead up to it. You can say it right off the bat. We'll we'll figure it out soon enough. Yeah. No, I'm going. I'm going Washington. Go, w- team of destiny. Yeah. All right. Cool. <laughs> team of let's, destiny. Let's fucking go. All right. Yeah. No. I honestly, I kind of want Washington to win it all. If I'm being honest. I want I want Washington to beat Alabama. That's part of the reason why I want him to beat Michigan because I want him to lead him to the top, only to be thrown all the way fucking down the mountain, baby. 
And look. Fuck Alabama. Yes, yes. But look, I don't have an explanation. Like, I can't explain it in numbers why I feel like Washington's going to win this game because all. all Kalen DeBoer. Kalen DeBoer. Michael Penix Jr. But, like, I don't have the numbers to, like, really back it up because all the numbers favor Texas. This is why Texas is favored by four and a half points. And. No, it's minus four now. It went down. It went down a little bit. Okay. So, so people are having the same feelings as I am, as them being a team of destiny. Dude, this over under is at 63, too. Dang. Team of destiny. Team of destiny. I but think- I, they remind me, they remind me of, I think it's the 2013 or 2014 Auburn Tigers whenever they had Nick Marshall as their quarterback. I don't really know if you remember that season. But that team was a team of destiny. I know they didn't win the national championship. Vaguely. It was based it was the team it was the team that lost to Florida State when Jameis Winston was there. That was 2014. 2014. But if you remember how they got there, everybody remembers the kick six. But the game before that, they beat Georgia off of a double bounce oh, Hail Mary yes. pass. Yes. Basically. I remember that. Yeah, it was a double tip. Double tip. It pass. was like it was like the bluegrass miracle. Because I saw both of those plays live, and I I was astounded. I mean, I was already astounded at the Georgia one, and then I was astounded whenever it happened again. I was like, I can't believe this is happening two times again. in a row. Yes, which is why I thought Auburn was was a team of destiny. But it just I have that same feeling with Washington. I, I feel like they are a team of destiny to get to that national championship game. Okay. All right. Well, so that I like I said, I'm throwing all logic, I'm throwing all numbers out the window. Team of destiny. Honestly, now that uh Jaden Daniels has won the Heisman, I kind of want I kind of want Washington to win everything. I like Pen- Michael Penix. I like Michael, I like Penix Michael too. Penix Jr. I d- I do too. He just didn't deserve the Heisman this year because he went through a slump. That's yeah. it. Yeah. So like now that Jaden Han- Daniels has gotten the Heisman like you said, I'm Let's all, go, Michael Penix let's Jr. Go, my, let's go, Huskies. I'll buy a fucking Husky if they win. Nope, I won't. I, I, won't, I won't. Big Penix Synergy. Big, big Penix Synergy. Yeah, let's fucking go. All right, we, we, we big Washington Huskies. All right. Um, And the bright spot of it all, they're purple and gold. Purple and gold? Purple and gold colors. They, uh, they're, well, yeah, they're... Okay, they're, they're purple, purple and pur- gold. Purple and like a dark gold. Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right, fine. Then I'm, 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 I'm cool with it. Yeah. Easy transition. Easy transition. All right, uh, let's get to the NFL. We'll, we'll gloss through this because we spent a lot of fucking time on the on college. College is college. Co- co- college is king. College is king. Hey, look, it's about to be. It's about to end. We had to act, at least get a good, you know, mm. focus in on. The ending part. Right, right. And and honestly, we should, for the listeners, if we're not going to do another fucking episode next week, we should probably do a longer one this week. Fair, Fair enough. enough. All right, NFL. Let, uh, before we get to the games, let me just say, NFL, sometimes less is more. Okay? You don't need seven teams per conference in each playoff, okay. Do you see what you're what you're getting yourself into here? These teams that are coming in as the seventh seed so far are not good. They're not good. Like before the game on Monday night, you had two NFC South teams in the playoffs. I mean, you don't have that now, and we'll figure that out obviously on Thursday, but. Before the game on Monday night, you had two NFC South teams in the playoffs. You don't need that. Nobody needs that. Listen, this is why we are we have a problem with the amount of teams that get into the playoffs for the NBA. The NBA has two-thirds of their fucking league in the playoffs. Now, granted, they are playing games, which is fun. I get it. It's fun. But... It's like you don't even have to be fucking good to get into the fucking playoffs in the NBA. You don't have to you 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 have to be mediocre to get into the playoffs if you're in the NFL. Stop. 
I'm, I'm not. I'm, I, I'm not into it. No, I mean, you see these teams that are on the bubble, and you know, in the hunt of making like the wild card. In the hunt is the biggest bullshit of all time. Like it, it just, it just hooks you a little bit, and like. Sure, I get hooked. I do. I do. I, I I get I get hooked by it, and I don't like it. But I also get angry every time it doesn't work out, and I I'm I'm starting to see past it. They hook you. Oh yeah, no, no. I mean, think about what they're doing. They're literally making you have the expression. So you're telling me there's a chance. Yep. Yep. So the NFL is is purposely making me dumber. They're, they're doing the dumb and dumber. They're making me dumber into thinking that, oh, my team has a chance. We could win the Super Bowl. You are dumbing they, – they're dumbing you down. They're dumbing me down. That, that's not – that's not fair of them to do that. That's – you know what? I don't like it. We should be able to sue them. We we should be able to sue them. I don't know what we would be able to sue them on because I'm we'll actually figure out the grounds to actually figure that out, but – They've dumbed us down to where we can't figure out the grounds. We can't figure out the grounds. On God damn it. Yeah. Where's the fucking grounds? Yeah, now we're going to have to call one of those billboard billboard lawyers to you know tell us what actually we are, are going to be suing for. Right, right. Because I, I, know, I know I'm mad, but I don't know what I'm mad about, and I need a lawyer to tell me what I'm mad about. Exactly. Okay, so, okay, so we can sue. All right, we're going to sue the NFL. Cool. But... Yeah, no. I, I the the in the in the hunt metric, mm. it's not fun. It's not no. fun. All right, let's get to the Saints versus Giants. All right. Of course they did. Of course they. Won. Of course they won. Of course they won. Yeah. Why the fuck wouldn't wouldn't have they won? Yeah. When when I decided to start rooting for the Saints to lose and tank, they they're gonna win. Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. You know what? We saw a shining quarterback. We were like, hey, look, Jaden Daniels actually might even be the third quarterback, so he might actually just drop a little bit. If we just lose a couple of games, we'll get right in that position. Nope. No. 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 No, no we're going to win. No. We're, we're going to make the playoffs. Yeah. No, now we're tied for the first in the division and possibly a wild card. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um. So now we have to root for them to win. We have to root for them to win. This is the, the this is how you know you have a bad franchise when you're sad to root for them to win. When you have to actually root and and, and like muster up the energy to get to the TV and watch them fucking play so you can root for them to win. That is the saddest fucking franchise. Like, if you are a bad franchise, you know you're a bad franchise. You watch the TV, and you suck, and you know you're a bad franchise. But when you, like, have to watch your team play, and root, and you're trying to root for them to lose, but they win, and you're all confused, you have no idea what the fuck to do. No. I don't, I don't like this. No. It, 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 it's, it's twisting my brain hole. Yes, yeah, very much so. Saints making fun of uh, Danny DeVito. Or not Danny DeVito, I'm sorry. <laughs> Tommy DeVito? Tommy DeVito. I like Danny <laughs> DeVito, though. Yeah, yeah. Saints making fun of Tommy DeVito was kind of funny. I know a lot of people fucking hated it, but come on. When you put the Italian fingers up after you get sacked, you, come on. Come on. After all that, you have to know that was coming. If you're going to showboat, like in the highest level of profession professional sports if you're gonna showboat in any way on one side you better be ready to receive it on the other side right that's karma bitches yes yeah you know if you're if you're gonna if you're gonna put that up in the stands if you if you're uh sean stellata or tommy devito's parents and you're gonna put that up in, in in the stands you better expect it on the fucking field yeah and that's what we just gave it back to you Stop fucking whining. Yeah. Stop uh, fucking whining. We dude, just gave it back to you. It happens all around the sports. Yeah. It, like, whenever they actually make, or like, defensive uh, defensive backs make a good play on Justin Jefferson, what do they do? They the, do the gritty. They do the gritty. Yeah, they do it right back at you. Yeah. Fucking quit complaining. Because, look, think about what it makes them feel on the other side whenever you do it. Right. That's, that. they just are waiting for their moments to shove it back at you. 
Yeah. Because they know it, how it feels to them. Yeah. When you rise up to the top, it's a, it's a long fall. Hey, so it's all about shut competition. The fuck up. Um, let's see. I know I, I know the Saints won, and it was against the Giants, but it was fun. It was fun to watch. I'm um towards the end of that game, I started to switch, so I was like, "All right, now I'm rooting for the Saints to win," and now I'm all, all on board. Like I have to be right. We have to. Well, definitely, yeah. We're full throttle in. Probably full throttle. We, we, once, uh, once, once you make the playoffs, anything can happen, right? The NFL script, they're, they're very clever. They're very good writers. They yes. know how to get us looped back in. And especially with the Saints fan, because Saints fans were booing the offense. And the NFL script writers were like, hey, we know how to bring these guys in. Let's give Jimmy Graham three touchdowns in a row, or three games in a row with the touchdown. That's going to bring them back. And I'm psyched. I'm fucking psyched. Jimmy Graham keeps catching touchdown passes. I fucking love it. Yeah. No, you're absolutely right. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> he keeps <laughs> catching touchdown passes. I mean, it's 36. I'm like, fuck yeah, dude. I feel it's... like I'm 2011. Saints fans are all the way back in. They think we have Drew Brees <laughs> as their fucking quarterback. Yeah. Some short white guy. I don't care. He's throwing it to Jimmy Graham. He's throw- yeah, exactly. <laughs> Jimmy Graham is almost dunking it on the fucking goalpost. Dude. Yes. It's awesome. Yeah, three games in a row with the touchdown. How awesome is that? Bro, he's still here. He's still good. He's, he's still-, still got it, dude. Yeah. I don't know why we don't throw it to him more. Like, I um, Obviously, they're throwing it to him more often, but like... Where was, was this, this at the beginning of the season? It's the first 13 games? Ugh. Dude. Oh, it's fucking frustrating. It is frustrating. Um, but at the same time, I'm, I'm glad I'm getting it. Yes. Like if if I can tip my hat to something to, on this season, it's Jimmy Graham. Jimmy Graham. Yep, yep. It it it, it, it kind of vaults us back to 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 the to the back in the day. Just you know, 2011, 2012, 2013. Just anytime you threw it up to Jimmy Graham in the red zone, it was just you knew it was gonna be a touchdown. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing. Um, the Elante Taylor hit. It was a bad call. I don't know if you saw it. It was it is it, it was very small part small part of the game, but it was also like like the announcers were just like that's a good tackle. Yeah, it's a good tackle. Yeah, it was. So, um, let's see. Saints for Saints beat the Giants. I guess I have to fucking root for the Saints. We're back on it. We're back on it. You know what? All right. By next, by by Thursday, because we're gonna play the fucking Rams, and we have to win. We have to beat the fucking Rams. I'll be back on. I'll be back on. Okay. Uh, Eagles or Seahawks? Holy fucking comeback! Drew Locke. Did he listen to Young Jeezy before he uh, went into this game? He was jacked on something. He was jacked on something. Yeah, was it, was it cocaine? I, you know what? Realistically, I think it was another opportunity. But let's say cocaine. Okay, all right, sounds good. Eagles have, uh, Eagles have some issues. They have some big time issues. Um, the only thing is they have three, three different get right games. Okay, Why so is that? because they played the Giants next week, and then they played the Cardinals, and then they played the Giants again. Mm. So. They have they have get right games. I, I think the best medicine for three, losing three straight is those three straight games. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is the doctor's prescription. <laughs> yes. So, yeah, I I, I, th- I think the Eagles be all right. They just got to figure out their injuries. Um, I know Jalen Hurts wasn't completely hundred percent this game. Yeah, they are waiting to the end of the season. You know how like <clears throat> a lot of players will come out at the end of the season and they were like, "Oh, I was battling this injury." Right. Yeah, yeah I was battling this yep. injury. That's what's gonna happen. It's gonna it's, basically we're gonna get Nick Sirianni in a press conference. He's gonna be like, "Oh yeah, no, he had a bum knee." I'm not. I'm not trying to compare the uh, the Eagles to LeBron or the Lakers, but. It's kind of the same thing. They're just it, it, they're like the Chiefs. The Eagles are like the Chiefs. They're just waiting for the playoffs, and they're just gonna turn it on. You remember last year, the Lakers and LeBron. They they were kind of like 
they were they were there, but they weren't there. But they were there, they weren't there, and they just kind of turned it on at towards the end of the season. I think I think they have that switch. Okay, so it's almost like it's not a cockiness, but it is a cockiness in a way. It's a confidence. Okay, let's put it confidence. I think they just have a switch they can turn on. Well, what I'm saying is, is there a, there's a confidence that like, hey, we know we're going to make the playoffs, but let's work out the kinks now. So let's any prob any like serious problems. Let's harp on those real quick. Even though it's not really a strength of ours and it's not going to win us the game, let's harp on trying to work out those kinks. By the so by the time we get to the playoffs, then when we turn it on, we don't have a weakness. Right. That's honestly what they're what, what they're doing. And what that, they're doing that, right now. That's pretty much what LeBron does does with all of his teams. Yeah. So because if you're good enough. Even if you try to work out those kinks, you're still gonna win some good game or some games. You know, you'll win games against the bad teams. Maybe not win some against the good teams, but you maybe hide your your playoff strategy from those teams. And then when you get there, then you go full out and you're able to take advantage. Right. Right. Um. Let's see. Let's go to the Browns versus Bears. The only thing I... Good I, game. I, I, yeah, it was. It was. The two things I had was, how do you miss that catch? The Hail Mary. Oh, my gosh. How do you miss the Hail Mary? It was right in his hands. Um, Right in his belly. Belly, yeah. And uh, Joe Flacco slinging it, bro. Bro, the man's... Yeah, he, he is still slinging it. Come, come back player of the year. And... The Browns have full confidence in him. Oh, I know. He he threw three interceptions, but they let him throw it for like 50, 52 times or something. Right, yeah, but uh, and he's also like a Super Bowl MVP. That is very true. That is very true. I, that's basically basically what just what the Browns might need. He might, he might not be a Mahomes, but it might be just what the Browns need. Might. I mean, they the, the Browns have such a good team. Such a good team. Um... Falcons first Panthers. Very quickly, this was the worst game of all time. <laughs> um, honestly, I think the Falcons need to just clean house. Arthur Smith gone, Desmond Ritter done. Yeah, Des. Okay, so as of today, Desmond Ritter is is done. Taylor Heineke has assumed the starting roles. Yeah, if he's healthy. No, no, no. That's been official. Oh, it's official. Yeah, it's official. Um, I just think... I just love just marveling in in the Falcons' misery. That was it. That's oh, it's it. great. It's great. I, I, I love when I see a team I hate that picks two top ten players, Kyle Pitts and B. John Robinson... But proceed to utilize Jonu Smith and Tyler Algiers, which are great players. Don't get me wrong; they're not great before them. Yes, no, it's a be it's a beautiful thing. Yeah, and that's that's uh, the <laughs> that's a dysfunctional franchise if, I, if I've ever seen one. Right? Like, why spend those top ten picks? I don't know. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. It really oh, is, man. Beautiful. And I think Ritter had one of the worst throws of all time. The man was r- rolling out and just threw a pick straight <laughs> to the defender. Now, now look, don't get me it wrong. It was one of the worst interceptions of all time. One of the worst interceptions. But don't get me wrong. He was throwing it on the run, but he had no reason to throw it on the run because nobody was even <laughs> remotely around him. <laughs> Just position your body. The wide receiver was open. You just threw it way to the left of him where the defender was. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. That's that's my spiel. It was one of the worst fucking interceptions I've seen in a long time. Yeah. It was I I it's fun. I love I, lo- I love when the Falcons <laughs> are miserable. Yes, same it's, here. It's okay. Um let's see. Lions versus Broncos. Couple of things on this. This was the Lions get right game. Here's here's my thing. Lions got right, but the Broncos could still win out. The Broncos here they play New England, they play the Chargers, and they play the Raiders. Their last three games. Yeah, I I really hate like they're not out. 
I really hate reveling in the success of Sean Payton at the Broncos, but no, they're not out. They're not out. Here's my thing. I, I, I was not upset when he left New Orleans because I knew he wanted to leave New, leave New Orleans. It was not anything against New Orleans. I think he just knew that his time in New Orleans was up. That was it. So, like, I'm kind of rooting for Sean Payton a little bit. A little bit. I don't know. He's still a little bit like Nick Saban to me, but whatever. Let's go. Okay. All right. Chargers versus Raiders. This is just really quickly. Um, <laughs> the Thursday night football yeah, game. Yeah, the Thursday night game. <laughs> Dude, 63 to what? 21, 24? This was, this was the Chargers team trying to get Staley fired. Oh, yeah. Tell me how you want to get your team fired without telling me how you want to get your team fired. Your coach fired? Oh, coach fired. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they did. They did fire the GM too. Yeah, basically the whole team. The whole team. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the Chargers did a very good job of getting their entire front office fired. I think the game plan was like whenever the co- play call was play or was called, they would do a separate team huddle and then tell how or devise a way how they would fail that play call. Right. Right. It was honestly. Whatever the play was called, you did the opposite. Yeah. Good for them. Good for them. Um, the Raiders aren't good. They're not good. So don't like kid yourself if you're a gambler. Yeah, they're, they're not good. <laughs> they 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 beat the Vikings by three points the week before. So let's let's cool your jets. This is basically like what you said. Remember when we beat the Panthers? It was basically like a tie in a sense. Yeah, and, it was. And maybe this one isn't as dramatic as that, but at the same time, it's like, I'm not going to give my hopes up. Now now I'm getting my hopes up because we beat the Giants and Tommy DeVito, who's, you know, you know, a reality be, star. Be, 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 be. Reality star. But I didn't get my hopes up against the Panthers, even though we kind of blew them out a little bit too. Maybe not as much as the Raiders did with the Chargers, but what I'm saying is, Chargers quit on the uh, the Raiders or you know on, on the team. team yeah on the team no they absolutely did so like don't get your hopes up on if you're a Raiders fan just trying to do this for your mental well being don't get your hopes up like that was just it's it just kind of maybe it was not shouldn't have been as like such a disparity on the points but what about that Jack Jones uh, pick. Whenever he picked off the screen. Oh, yeah. That was a thing of beauty. Read it perfectly. Yeah. I, honestly, almost overread it. He actually he almost, yeah. almost read it. If he, there was an almost overread, that was it. Yeah. He, he caught it with his backhand. Basically, the hand, the hand that was passing up right. the, the right. receiver. But, yeah, that's about it. That's all I have on this game. All right. Um... Yeah, I don't think I really have anything else on the NFL just yet. I think we're going to get into uh, next next two weeks. I think it'll be – that'll be make or break playoff times. And honestly, I think we have – we have our locks in the NFC, which sucks because the NFC is so fucking top-heavy that, like, the playoffs are there. We're just waiting on the stupid fucking wild card games. Um – the AFC is a little bit better. I'm kind of pumped. I'm kind of pumped about it. If I'm being honest, they, I, I don't know. I like the Buffalo Bills. If I'm being honest, I think they're gonna make it in. I think the Bengals are gonna slow down. But, but at the same time, like. You have the Indianapolis Colts up there, Houston Texans, and C.J. Stroud is not going to play next week. And then you got the Pittsburgh Steelers, Denver Broncos, and that's it. So. All right. You got anything else on the NFL? Oh, that's about it. All right. Um, fuck. The Pelicans just fucking lost to the fucking Grizzlies. How? By two. How? We were up by 25 in this game. I don't understand that. It's John Morant. John Morant scored 34 points. The John Morant effect? Yeah. Yep. 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 All right. Um, 
I don't want to talk about the NBA anymore. Do you want to talk about the <laughs> NBA? Uh, I think we're good. We'll, we'll catch up on that. All right, we'll catch up on that. All right, well, um, I don't think we will have a show next week. We might have a little pop-up show next week. Mm-hmm. Um, so stay tuned. But if we don't see y'all till what, New Year after New Year's? On January 2nd, have next a Mer- year. Have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year's. Love y'all. Later.